Hello guys, how are we? Happy Wednesday to you all. Okay, today we have a repeat topic, okay? But this has been by a request. Now, I did have an idea this week to talk to you about decluttering our mind and our workspace and our car and our home and, you know, everything that we have around us because it's a good time of the year to do that. We're coming towards the end of the year and we need to close everything down, seal it off, finish it off and get ready to leap into this great new year that's nearly upon us. So I wanted to talk to you today about my little box theory okay now <clears throat> this is very very popular with you all and maybe that's why you've requested that we do it again so let's start at the beginning and let's go with envisaging um i'd like you to look at a large piece of furniture possibly with lots of little cupboards i mean if you're familiar with our facebook page you will see that we have a perfect example of a set of drawers right at the top of our Facebook page. And they're all different colours and it's a very, very interesting piece of furniture. It's, it's, I think it's very attractive. But I want you to think of something very, very similar to that, if possible. And the idea is for us to, to declutter our minds, to take away those problems or the things that we have on our mind 24-7 which really should now be moving on. Now, the thing is, is that the wonderful idea of our draw system is we're not asking you to throw anything away or to forget about it or just blah. That is not the idea with this little system that I have, okay? What it is, is when you, what you have to realize is when you have things going round and round and round in your mind, you know, you have no space, no room whatsoever for anything new to come in. So think about this, it makes sense. If you are so, so tied down with things from the past and, and, and just things in general, it can be everyday things, it doesn't have to be necessarily from the past. But the thing is, is that if you have what we call a monkey mind, yeah, and it's all over the place and it's jumping from A to B to C to D and, you know, it's no good. You need to be organised in your mind as much as you do within your life. Well, you can't be organised within your life if you're not organised within your mind. So <clears throat> what you need to do is these thoughts that have been rumbling around there for quite a while, you need to section them out, okay? So in try and envisage, you know, a little bubble above your head here with your idea in there, with the thing that is going on all the time, 24-7 in your mind, and I want you to very, very slowly open one of these beautiful drawers that you've got in front of you. And I want you to put that inside. Now, whether this is um, a problem, whether it's a saying, whether it's something somebody has done to you or said to you, but it's something that's troubling you. It's there all the time, okay? Pop it in the drawer and close the drawer. Now, the idea of doing this exercise is quite simply, you are not throwing it away, but you are just simply putting it into your filing cabinet, okay? We all have little filing cabinets up here, just the same. And it's so important because until you do that, you have no room whatsoever for anything new to come in. And believe it or not, we receive information every single day Lots and lots and lots of it. So you need to be fresh and clear in your mind. You need to be able to take it on board what's going to come along. Even if you may be learning something, you know, you may be having a great time learning another language or you're learning a new system on your PC or you're now learning about the law of attraction or marketing or the business world, whatever it may be. The more things you've got going on up there, the less information you're going to be able to store. So this is a great way of being able to just pop them into your filing cabinet, pop them to one side. They're always there. Whenever you want to go back to that memory or that thought or whatever it may be, just open the drawer and there it is. So do you understand how this works? So you just need to sit very calmly. We take the deep breath. And whatever floats up into your mind first is what we're going to deal with first. 
Okay, so we've all got a thought, we've all got something going on, yeah, up there. So hold that thought, hold that moment, and visualize in your mind that you're going across to your beautiful set of drawers. And you're going to open that drawer and you're going to pop it inside. And then we're going to close that drawer, okay? And we're gonna breathe. We're really gonna breathe. Because we are one problem, one saying, one thought, one action less. We haven't thrown it away, we haven't given it to anybody. We've simply put it in a safe place for another day. And whenever we wish to revisit that moment, we just go back to the drawer, open the drawer, and there it is. And we can think about it as often as you like. But in the meantime, the door is closed, the little drawer is closed, and you have a free space in your mind for something new to come in. And this is how it works. Okay, I mean, when you can let things just go and let them go, that's great. But sometimes we can't do that because it's something that um, even sometimes it's something that torments us. You know, it's something that we hear time and time again or we see something. I told you the power of words. Words are tremendous. You know, there is nothing stronger than words or a written message for hurting you absolutely nothing or even it doesn't have to hurt it just may torment you know your brain cells so <clears throat> this is a great exercise to be able to deal with moments like that you know and even also sad moments we all have sad moments you know we have extremely happy ones we have great ones but sometimes we have a sad one and it can stay there they tend to linger much much longer and the slightest little memory of that and boom there it is way back whereas if we've popped it away somewhere if we put it in a drawer and we've closed that drawer we've got to go we've got to open it we've got to bring it out there's a lot more work involved and it's a really great way to clear your mind now, I would also suggest, but obviously on a more physical level, that you do that with everything that you have around you, and particularly at this time of year. You know, your working space, your desk, your desk should be organised, because if you are organised, your work is going to be organised. Okay? There is nothing worse than a messy desk. You may know where everything is, but you're still looking at a messy desk all the time, and that will create a messy mind. And that is what we do not want. The same will be exactly for your car. You know, you have bits here, bits there, bits all over. No, no, no. Try and keep everything as clean cut as you possibly can. And your home, your home should also be that way. And of course, when you have all this going on, you're going to see it in yourself. You're going to feel good because you're together. OK, maybe, you know, you're not just putting any old thing on. You're putting a little bit of thought into it. You don't have to spend all morning. Blah, blah, blah. That's all we need. OK, you just need something. But um, a little bit of thought is always good because, of course, don't forget, we've been through this. You are your presentation card. OK, this is the card of yesterday and it's you. And you're saying, here I am, world. Here I am. I'm presentable. I'm organised, my mind is clear, and when my mind is clear, everything in my life is clear. And when we have clarity, what do we do? We reach our goals, because clarity is the key, one of the major keys to success, because we need to know where we're going, what we want, all right? Remember, we don't need to know how, that is not our problem, but we certainly need to have the clarity to be able to keep going forward. And when we have a clear mind, by using this little system of putting things systematically away into a set of drawers, into our internal filing system, then we're going to go great guns because it's really, really going to help us. Because it is vital that you always have space. You have space to be able to introduce something new into your mind. It's exactly the same as when you are going through your house, you know, even down to your clothes. If you're an addict on buying clothes and things like that, you can't buy them if you haven't got anywhere to put them. So what we always suggest there is that you take something out and always find it a good home. Don't make it the bin. 
try and find a good home. Try and give you know give it away to the Red Cross or some kind of association where somebody will get extremely good value from that. And the more we can do that, of course, as you know, what goes around comes around. And within the law of attraction, that is a wonderful way to live. So, okay, guys, you've got it for today. Keep your mind clear. File things away. Use those little boxes. Use them to your advantage. Pop them away. Open the drawer. Pop it in. Close the drawer. Okay? It's just saying, see you later. You're not saying a permanent goodbye. It's always there for you if you wish to return. So on that note, I'm going to leave you. Tomorrow's Thursday. We're nearly at the end of the week. One week clearer and one week nearer to Christmas. So, okay, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.